curse of instability. Now scripturally, yeah, when we go through uh, uh, the, the Bible writings, we realize that is a curse that follows people to make sure they are not stable. And that curse we gonna break it today. If you are here and you are hearing me and maybe that spirit has been pursuing you we shall break it today in the name of Jesus it's good to note this also before we read the scripture everything happens on a certain foundation everything that you see happening is caused by something. Am I clear? Everything you see happening, there is always an invisible cause. Thank you. Now let's read the scripture here. And then I'll do, I'll, I'll do a leak up of what we said on Sunday. And then we'll come to uh, 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 the teaching of today. Now, give us the book of Genesis chapter 4. Yes, we see the first place the curse of instability is pronounced against man. God himself spoke the curse. In the book of Genesis chapter 4. Now we read from uh, because of time let's, uh, let's, 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 let's push and uh, read from verse 9. Now this is when Cain killed his brother Abel. Then the Lord said to Cain where is a boy your brother and Cain said I do not know am I my brother's keeper am I my brother's keeper think about somebody telling God like that what do I do what do I do what do I do Hey. What The next verse. And God said, What have you done? What have you done? Bwana akasema umefanya nini? The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the crowd. Don't play with the blood. Oh. <laughs> blood. Dam. Blood. Oh, 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 oh. Blood. Dam. Verse 11. So now you are cast from the earth. Sasa umelaniwa you are a cast you are cast from the earth which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand the next verse says when you till the ground it shall no longer yield its strength to you. A fugitive, I'm a mkimbizi, a fugitive and a vagabond, unstable, a vagabond, you shall be on the earth. Hey, the next verse, God Kusa, is pronounced the curse. Mungu apo alitanga, alitangaza lana. And, and he came saying to the Lord, this boy was stubborn. Imagine, and I negotiate. And the king said, said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. <laughs> and 
Yaani ana converse na Mungu hivi tu kama ndugu yake. Yaani anaongelea ni alani alani angaita mru wa nyina. Hiyo meniangushia nitabeba kweli. Kiwa ndekeria anga kuwa. Hata wewe Mungu kuwa sensible. Anaegwa ngaite sirie. The curse is too. please go back there. Then my punishment is greater than I can bear. Adhabu yangu ni zaidi ya niwezavyo kustahimili. The next verse quickly. Huwa mstari mwingine. Sure you have driven me out this day from the face of the crowd. Leo anifu leo unanifukuza kutoka inchi inchi I shall be hidden from your face. Nami itafichwa mbali na uwepo wako. I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond on the earth. Nitakuwa mtu wa kutangatanga asiyetulia duniani. And it will happen. Na itakuwa. It will happen. Na itakuwa. That when anyone who finds me will kill me. Atakaye niona ataniua. No, I want to see this. Na ataka uangalie hii. God did not tell Cain whoever finds you will kill you. Mungu akumwambia Cain yeyote atakaye kuona atakuwa. But Cain interpreted. Lakini Cain alitafsiri. Because one of the indicators or signs of instability is premature death. Kwa sababu moja hapo ya ishara za laana ni kifo cha mapema. So he told Cain is there God? Kaini anamwambia Mungu, "The God has told them you shall be a fugitive, a vagabond on the face of the earth." Mungu alipomwambia utakuwa unatangatanga na kuna kutulia duniani. He told God. Aliambia Mungu, "Hey, what you have laid on me is heavy." Kile umeniekea ni kizito. Whoever finds me will kill me. Atakaye niona ataniua. It is easy to kill unstable people. Ni ni rahisi kuwa mtu ambaye hajastahimili. May God stabilize us. Na Mungu atustahimili. May God stabilize us. Na Mungu atustahimili. Go down there. I want to see. Let me tell you. I will be showing you. It is God the power of mercy. Nitakuwa nasha ni neema ambayo ni ya nguvu. Yeah, the power of mercy. Nguvu ya ya neema. Ya ama rehema. Rehema. Yeah, Mungu akamhurumia. And the Lord said to him, "Therefore, whoever kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him a sevenfold and the lord set a mark on Cain lest anyone finding him should kill him that that one is a good one may god set a mark on you hiyo ni nzuri mungu anakuweke la kuweke alama sikwambi ukafanya ile vitu kwa anifanya sija kwa nitaka ukawe pole arudhire but god that caught my attention na lakini mungu hiyo ndio ilinichukua god set a mark on the on on the life of or maybe the forehead of this boy Mungu aliyeka alama katika uso wa huyu kijana so that whoever finds him ndio yule atakaye muona will not kill him hatamua wow Ex- okay genesis 49 mwanzo 49 we are dealing with the genesis today leo tunafanya na mwanzo let us hear another man that that faced a curse of 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 instability Acha tuone mtu mwingine aliyekumbana na laana ya kutokugua thabiti. And Jacob called his sons and said, "Gather together that I may tell you what shall be for you in the last days." Na Yakobo akaita wanawake akawaambia kusanyike waambie kile kitakachotendeka siku za mwisho. The next verse, "Gather together and hear you sons of Jacob and listen to Israel your father." Kusanyikeni na msikilize enyi wana wa Yakobo msikilizeni baba yenu Israeli. Thank you. Verse the next verse. Reuben you are my firstborn. Reuben wewe ni mzaliwa wangu wa kwanza. My might and be the beginning of my strength. Nguvu zangu tunda langu la la nguvu zangu. The excellency of dignity and the, the excellency of power. Umepita kwa heshima umepita kwa uwezo. Wow, what a privilege this guy had. Verse 4. Can we read together everybody everybody we read and stable as water you shall not excel because you went up to your father's bed then you defiled it he went up to my coach in other words he says you went to my house and you slept with my concubine kwa je nyingine anasema ulienda katika kitanda changu na ukalala na mke mmoja wangu 
Jacob you see the father had several wives. Unaona Yakobo alikuwa na wake wengi. Rachel of course. Rachel. Ah Leah. Na Raeli. And then kulikuwa na mpango mwingine ya kando inaitwa Bilha. Na kwa ina kama mpango wa kando inaitwa Bilha. Sema mpango wa kando nayo. Mpango wa lotere. Ilikuwa ni mpango nakaa nyumbani hapo. Kwa hivyo ilikuwa anga area. Kwa hivyo mpango wa kala kwa lotere au musie. Sasa Ruben akaangalia kaona haka na kaa engine mate. Ruben asiona haka ni kielika. Akapita nako. Abetoka nako. Era mweza kwa abetoka nako. Era mwa dakwa abetoka nako. Kuisha. No. I want us to pause right there and just understand something. Nataka tutulie hapo kidogo na tufikie jambo. We send on Sunday. Tulisema siku ya Jumapili that God wants the church to be stable and established. Mungu alisema kwamba kanisa ataka iwe imesaimili na kusimama. And we send when we talking of stability. Na tukasema kwamba tunaposema kuwa thabiti. Let me do a quick recap so that everybody can catch. Acha nirudie kidogo ndio kila mmoja aweze kuelewa. We say to a stability is the ability to endure especially when circumstances are against you. Tusema thabiti ni uwezo wa kuelewa wakati mambo yako juu yako. Yeah, ability to endure kuvumilia. Ma, yani ni uwezo wa kuvumilia. When circumstances are against you. Wani mambo yako kinyume chako. My dear ones, at times things will not be easy. Mambo wakati mwingi mwingine mambo yanaweza kutakuwa rahisi. Things may not be easy at all. Mambo yanaweza kosa kuwa rahisi. But if you are stable. Lakini kama uko thabiti. You shall be able to endure. Na uwezo wa and you will be left standing. Clap your hands if you believe that. Number two. We said stability. It is the firmness in your stand. The firmness in your stand. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, you are so firm. Yaani wakati uko na uko thabiti kabisa. No matter the waves. Haijalishi mawimbi. No matter the storms. Haijalishi dhoruba. You are a stable. Wewe uko na uwezo. You are a firm. Uko na I'm seeing God raising such people in this house. watu katika hili nyumba. No matter what comes your way. Haijalishi nilipi nilakuja kwako. My dear ones you shall be stable. Unasema utasaimili. You shall be stable. Utasaimili. Give your neighbor high five. Pia rafiki yako Be stability is your portion. Celebrate Jesus somebody. Amen. We also saw this. Na pia tukaona hili. We said number three. Tukasema la tatu. Stability is 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 the consistency of your stand. Yaani you are consistent. Hauko leo vugufugu kesho hapo. No, you are consistent. Yaani kusaimili ni kule kuendelesha msimamo wako. Ah. Mwambie mwanzako I am consistent. Mwambie mimi ni wa kuendelesha. Okay, mwambie ukiniona leo. Mwana wa mwana mwanzi. Be assured. Ewa we 2027. I will still be standing. Kegwando ngamete. Consistency. Ile kuendelea. Rakuku barandeke de ba. Consistent in all seasons. Kuendelea katika majira yote. Seasons are never the same. Majira haifanani. There are seasons you are counting money bari 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 bari. Kuna majira ambayo unahesabu pesa kwa wingi. Eh, ama unaenda kwa ATM una unasikia fur. Karoka ATM ni okay kwa ikuma. Wave your hand, say amen. Ukiraja kuga amen. You see kuna mtu, you see I like sometimes comedians are funny. Mimi napenda comedians they are funny. So kuna mmoja alisema Protein does not just come from meat only and or, or beans. How many no protein? I get protein to make it boss or nyama and be. Eh, and you kill a nyama to a sick. Lakini, at our cat to end up quiet TM. I never did create TM. Unangiza can't. Ogasonia can't ya kunaskia fruit. Okay, I'll shout you. I think you're protein. Why not protein? I mean, Mazako, I am prophesying to you. Amwambie na kutabiri yako. This month. Mwezi huu. You will hear fruit. Tasikia fruit. Why is stability is important? Kwa nini kukua thabiti kunahitajika? Wow, I learned this from my bishop, very powerful. Nilisoma ikutoka kwa bishop wangu yangu. Stability determines your survival. What you survive? Thabiti yako inaongelelea sana ama ina determine sana ku survive kwako ama kuendelea kwako. 
kile vile unavyo survive katika maisha challenges will come majaribu itakuja battles will come vita zitakuja how stable you are lakini pia the bit to live is what determines whether you survive or not yo itamaanisha kama utasurvive ama hautasurvive so your stability kwa hivyo kuwa thabiti kwa is what determines what you survive yo inamaanisha kile vile vile utakavyo i pray to every one of us no matter the predicaments of the day no matter the barriers of the day no matter the mountains of the day my dear one you will survive you shall survive you shall survive you shall survive rejection you shall survive oppression you shall survive sicknesses you survived covid-19 you will survive even what is happening today even the economy that is in crisis you shall survive and that we gave Matthew 7:24 to 27. Leo pia Mathayo 7:24. Mstari wa 24. Hadi 27. Baka 27. Where are two people built houses? Mali wawili walipo walivojenga nyumba. One built on a rock. Moja akajenga katika mwamba. The house was stable. Nyumba ilikuwa thabiti. Another did not care. Mwingine hakujali. Built on sand. Akajenga juu ya mchanga. The storm came. Dhoruba zikakuja. The and they beat the two houses the one that was on a stable foundation survived the one that was on sand it fell ask your neighbor where is your foundation where is your faith you see there are people for instance that tunanunua land kuna watu kama sisi tunanunua shamba who with draw wao utoka kanisani katika kanisa wanangoja launching magetera kurugula sasa ndio mzako mimi si kama hao mele ni on theater mo mimi ni wale wako ndio ni mara mara ku wakati pasta naumia ya pasta akumia tunamuencourage tuko pale tukamwikira binya tole bali wakati anafurahia yako kenelela tuko pale tole yao those are wonderful people au maoni au ni watu wa maajabu when people are plunging wakati watu wana wana pledge you never see them hautawaona they are unstable people au ni watu ambao si thabiti kandulu blelesha la ya taya now number two we said ya pili tukasema why stability is important kwa nini kustahimili kuko kuwa thabiti kuna itajika kuwa thabiti that means how long you stay or last ita ina 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 determine utakaa kwa muda mgani yeah people can worship you today watu wanaweza kukunena leo na uvumilia kidogo na ongoa kukiria banini kesho ingine ikuje royo bongebose bata ma challenge ingine ona challenge singe sio kama kwa stable enough okay wata ina binya wega unakuta mtu ameanguka okay the mtu akugwa lakini ende ukiwa stable wewe ungamiti wega wega you will last long utaishi kwa muda mrefu Ha, clap your hands and Kwa shout amen. amen. Thank God you saw Reverend Eliphaz here. Tunashukuru Mungu leo na Reverend Eliphaz hapa. He led me to Christ, baptized me 25 years ago. Aliniongoza kwa kumpokea Kristo na kunibatiza miaka 24 iliyopita. As a little boy, teenager in the village. Akiwa nikiwa kijana mdogo kule kijijini. 25 years later. Miaka 25 baadaye I am receiving him on the altar. Inampokea katika madhabahu. To God be the glory. Na Bwana apokee utukufu. I am praying for every one of us. Ninaombea kila mmoja wetu. In the name of Jesus. You will not fall. Hautaanguka. You shall be stable. Utakuwa thabiti. I'm doing a recap of very important. Nafanya kurudia kwa ambako ni kwa muhimu sana. Number 3 we say. La tatu tukasema. Why stability is paramount. Kwa nini kwa kusemili kunatakikana? Stability is the foundation of progress. Kwa sababu thabiti ni msingi ni msingi wa kuendelea. You prosper 
and progress on the on 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 the foundation of stability. Utanawili na kuendelea katika msingi wa kuwa thabiti. Hallelujah. Amen. The scriptures are on the screens. Maandiko yako pale katika screen. Second Samuel seven twelve. Samuel wa pili saba kumi na mbili. Second Chronicles twenty twenty. Na Chronicles, Second Chronicles twenty twenty. Thank you. Number four. Yanne. The reason stability is important. Ni kwa nini kutuwa thabiti kwa itajika? There are powers pushing you. Down or to fall down, your stability will save you. Kuna nguvu zinazo kusukuma kuanguka lakini nguvu yako itakufanya usimame, itakuokoa. Yeah, thank you. Your stability will save you. Udhabiti wako utakuokoa. I feel we read that one. Naomba tusome ilo. Yes, Psalm 118 verse 13. Zaburi kumina, miyamoja kumina nane, kumina tatu. The Bible says, can we read together? You pushed me violently. That I might fall, but the Lord helped me. Uli nusuko masana ni anguke lakini bwana alinisaidia. God is the was the stability of David. Bwana alikuwa the udabiti wa Daudi. The boy was anchored in God. Bwana Daudi alikuwa amedishikilia kwa bwana. His foundation was in God. Singi waki uliwa katika bwana. When pressure came. Wakati ma pressure zilikuta. Pressure, pressure. Kusukumwa, kusukumwa. When pressure came sasa, for him to fall, anguke, please come, Pastor Kim. Then Pastor Kyoko come, stand, stand behind him. You see, come up at you. Yes, yes. Now, Kyoko is God. Kyoko ni Mungu. Pastor Kim is David. Pastor Kim ni Daudi. There, wa, there was pressures na that wanted this man to fall. But when the pressure came, God became the support. He could not fall because his stability is God. His stability is God. He is anchored in God. When pressure comes, cannot bring him down. I am praying for all of you. No matter what is coming, you shall start. You shall prevail. Celebrate Jesus. Magonjwa ikikusukuma. Namba buwana kushikilie. Matatizo ikikusukuma. Jehovah kushikilie. Mandani kikusukuma. Mungu baba kushikilie. Oppression ni kikukujia Jehovah akushikilie Na tekupatia mwenzako high five Mwambie No matter the pressure I will stand Mwambie no matter the pressure I will stand No matter No matter the pressure I will stand Kujani hapa juhu No matter the pressure I will stand Make sure you support him no matter the pressure I will start No matter the challenge I will start No matter the Mackenzie The church will start Because our foundation It is a stable foundation Our foundation It is Jesus The stable foundation Our foundation It is Jesus Usha mwenzako Mwambie ni constable Mwambie ata kukiwaka Mimi ni meshikilia Yesu diangao yangu Yesu dia musingi wangu Majaribu ikikuja Mimi sivunji kimoyo Mateso ikikuja Mimi sikati tamaha Mapito ikikuja Nitayapitia Yanai Tango mapito Mana ni ya kupitiwa Ambia inaitwa mapito Mana ni ya kupitia Nimekuja ni wampie Waro davest Chuka Hayo mapito Ya kisikutishe Mapito ni ya kupitia Ni ya kupitia ukienda Ni ya kupitia ukienda Mapito ikikuja Unapitia Unapitia 
mapito ni ya kupitia Magedio ni mount mapito ni makupetu kila Mapito Mapito eh Ni wimbo ya bahati bukuku Ni wimbo ya bahati bukuku Dunia ni Ina mapito Ya na yotu mbua mwanandamu Mapito ha Mekuruzu wende unguo that song Iko kwa hali yangu elabit Mapito Ya weze kanandanda Mapito yako Ni uyo mchumba wako Hana ye kusumbua Jibu siyo kujiua Mwamini Yesu Hana ye kutia nguvu Utasinda Hey Denu Unaweka posi unandanzi hivi Hey Ambia mazaka unapiti yako mapito Ya weze kanandugu Hey lakini wewe umeowa juzi Ya weze kuwa na kusumbua Mapito yako Ni uyo mchumba wako Hana kundanga nyai Jibu siyo wakisawa Hey Rukuru mayaya Hey Ambia mazaka Mapito ni ya kubitia Mapito ni mapito ni makubetu kira Kiyo Daudi anasema Kitu mi Daudi ya kuka Even though I walk 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 Katikati The valley Katika uvuli Of the shando Wa mauti Of the You see Uvuli wa mauti When you see a shando Unapona kivuli The object is not far Ile kitu ya ma object ya iko mbali Maybe uko hapa na ulifiwa Lado wa mbole ya nore ni mkwere Utipoteza mtu wenu Ni watele mtu wenu The shando is so real Kivuli kinaonekana sana Inaonyesha kifo imeuma ama iko mbali Ni kwa 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 hata nikipitia Onanka genda Chini ya uvuli wa mauti Chini wa mkuru wa mkuru Mimi sita wapa Nyonte kira Mana najua Nyonte wanembi se God is with me Mungu wa kwa pamoja na Nimekuja niambia mtu wapa Na ukambila mtu wapa Hayo mapito napitia Mapito wa mauku betukela Mungu yu pamoja na wewe Kwa nata kuzaitia Hayo ni mapito Hayo ni mapito Pitia kapisa Hayo ni machallenges Ya pitia kapisa Usikate tama Shara pray Jesus God bless you Thank you Yaweze kanadu Mapito yako Niyo biyashara yako Ina kusumbua Jibu siyo kujiua Mwamini mungu baba Hana ye kuwezesha Hata ku I love Bati Bokuku Hana imbanga peke yake tu Marakra shola henda ya Now quickly Let's mention this Then Aukusele will just pray Hata nitaji ya lafu tutaomba The curse of instability Laana ya kutokuwa the biti The curse Laana According to the scriptures we read, kulinga na ile mandiko tu mesoma. We can establish this fact. Tunaweza kusema aya ifact that there is a curse that makes people not to be stable. Yani kunalanda ine ofanya watu asiwe the biti. And I pray if there be anyone here. Na ni naomba kama kuna moja katie tu. Going through such a challenge. Ana piti ya changa moto kama ilo. My God will heal your situation. Mbuangu ataponya situation yako. What is to be instable? Instable. Kuwa au kwa the beat ni kuwa nini? It has actually been unstable. You are not stable. Ni kuwa wewe au kwa stable. That's very good. Now the what are the causes of 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 instability? Nini ni sababisha kuwa au kwa the biti? I just summarized and said human errors, mistakes, and sin of man. Nika weka pamoja nika sema ni makosa ama kimambo ambayo mtu anayo tenda. Yes, ama dambi before God. Ama dambi mbele ya mungu. There are things that a human being can do. 
ni kuna mambo mwanadamu anaweza akafanya and they invoke a curse of instability in na, na ikasababisha laana ya kutokuwa thabiti for instance kwa mfano they are two key scenes that are recorded in the bible that are, are connected or that links to instability kuna mambo mawili yamenakiliwa katika Biblia ambayo yanaoneshana kutokuwa thabiti. Number 1. Na jambo la kwanza, shedding innocent blood. Kumwaga damu isiyo na hatia. When Cain killed his brother. Wakati Kaini alimwua ndugu yake. And they shed an innocent blood of his the brother of the brother. Na kamwaga damu isiyo na lawama ya ndugu yake. God pronounced the curse. Mungu mwenyewe alitangaza laana. And said number 1. Na akasema jambo la kwanza. Earth will never yield to you something good. Dunia ama ardhi haitakuzalia jambo lolote njema. Let me say that's why I said the other day. Nani usikize vile vilivyosema siku ile nyingine. I I had that statement from uh, this man of God uh Apostle Johnson Sulemani. Ali nilisikia hili jambo kutoka kwa Apostle Johnson. Yeah. Of Omega Fire Ministries. That powerful man of God. I heard them say. Nikasikia kisema that we don't become rich by hand working. Atukue matajiri kwa sababu ya kufanya kazi na bidii. And I, I, I quickly asked myself what has he said? Na nikajiuliza kwa haraka amesema nini? And then he said something. Na akasema jambo. And we work to eat. Tunafanya kazi tule. He who that does not work should Ye, not eat. Yeye ambaye afanyi kazi afai kula. But to get wealth and riches. Lakini kukusanya utajiri na mali. It is a blessing. Ni baraka. Amen. And that's why I said I confirm that because How many people today works like a hand or like an elephant? Na nikadhibitisha kwa nini watu wengi wanafanya kazi kama mchwa ama ndovu. And by the end of the day, na mwisho wa siku, it's just hand to mouth. Ni ile ya sahani kwa mdomo. Riches. Utajiri. Wealth. Na mali. You don't just get by hand work. Aufa aupati kwa sababu ya kazi kubwa. There is a blessing that generates wealth. Kuna baraka ama kuna baraka inayozaa utajili. This is what Proverbs 10:22 says. Even if Proverbs. Proverbs 10:22. 10:22 inasema. It says. Inasema. Can we read together? The blessing of the Lord that's what makes rich and has no sorrow. Baraka za Bwana zinaleta utajiri na ziani machungu. Hata si baraka baraka ya Bwana, a singular baraka. Baraka ya mu, ya Bwana. Kuna kitu naitangwa baraka ya God. Kuna kitu inaitwa kila kitu kia ngai. Ikiwa chu yako. Ile gulo yako. You can gather wealth in chuka when everybody is saying chuka ni kugumu. Unaweza kukusanya mali katika chuka wakati kila mmoja anasema ni kugumu. May this blessing be upon you. Hata hii baraka ikawe juu yako. May this blessing be upon you. Hii baraka iwe juu yako. That is why hiyo ndio sababu our fathers of faith mababa zetu wa imani Abraham Ibrahim Isaac Isaac Jacob Yakobo no one left there is a heart hakuna mmoja aliyata hii dunia before blessing their sons kama hajawabariki wanawake na whoever alibarikiwa kama first born na yote aliyebarikiwa kama first born became a wonder in his generation akakuwa mtu wa wonders katika generation yake watu walikuwa wanafanya but the one with the blessing lakini moyo wake alikuwa na baraka out to everyone alikuwa ananawiri kuliko wengine what is that hiyo ni nini kuna kitu cha Mungu kuna kitu kianga ambacho kinaitangwa baraka kianga wa kiradimo ambacho uwezesha mtu akipata abanda abanda asingii kwa mashimo iteko dhimalimani but you save 1 million cancer ikuja iitisha 3 million na ukilo save million yemwe cancer yesaidie million hizo tu you tell me you will be rich utaniambia utatajirika that's why i'm praying the devourer will not touch you the destroyer will not touch you the terminator will not terminate you lift up your say lord help me kufanya kazi na bidii ni kuzuri. Akina tena nikwambie. 
you don't get riches by that. Hand work is perfect, excellent, 100%. Accumulating what people call wealth and riches. Oh. It's a different thing. There's a spirit behind it. So God tells Cain, you will be in this earth, but you are in ground. That means wherever you stand, that is your ground. It will not give you the best. So in other words, your ground will be against you. Ah, Kariboza! If you are here Kama uko apa, and everywhere you go, Mambo in Mekui na Shikana, Mambo in Akata, Kutoka Leo, I had my God say, Tell them I am merciful. By mercy, you shall rise. By mercy, you shall succeed. By mercy, you shall overcome. You are crowd to be productive. <laughs> ah. I've been there down for 15 years now. I not 15. August, it will be 20, 20 years. August, it will be 20 So I came to Chuka. When the narrative was no church can never go beyond 100 people. At the people who literally say Chuka is the worst town. What you are saying is Chuka is Within a short time, Arifunga Virawa Kaenda. What a demonic motive. That was 205. I was here. Yoni 05. I was here. 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 I was Yani unafanya watu wanakuwa na kiwi ya bure. Yeah. Unawakaushia. Yani kama umedia. Those are some motives that makes people to fail. Why be happy when an, another is going down? Kwa nini unafurahia wakati mwingine anaenda chini? Why celebrate when an, another one is crying? Kwa nini unashangilia wakati mwingine analia? Alipatana na ngome ambayo ilikuwa inatisha watu in this land. Eh ndani ana ngozi yeye akupia kila mtu town yenu. Kiriuma na katoroka hata siwe aliuza kanisa kauza, aliuza. Ndio yeye ndio ukiomba na kanisa ndio na adhi. Akauza, akapiga sero hivi, akauza kanisa. Ndio na adhi. Terrible. But let me tell you, there is God in heaven. There is God in heaven. Today, Chuka is not like that. Today, Chuka is opening. I am declaring this blessing. No matter where you go, it shall be well with you. Say yes! Biashara itafunguka. Uduma itafunguka. Kama unaamini pigia Yesu nduru. Your land will never yield. Ardhi yako haitazaa. Number 2. Jambo la pili. Akamwambia utaishi kuwa mkimbizi. Amroga tola kodiolewa kolola. Yaani mtu ambaye ana ana anajificha. Mtu leo kudia kibidaga. Hakikaga mali. Eka ikala. Kama mwingine alipatanga huko kwetu. Taongewa na uweto. Ni wale wa manjama wa 82 ya fosili kwetu kupindua Kenya. So akatoroka. Aula. Ni mwanaume alipata kuwa mevaa skati huko kwetu. Ni mwanaume mtu mwenye kite skati na uweto. Yeah, ile. So ah ile ajificha. Nikiende bidha. Alipata kuwa mevaa skati. Eh kite skati ai mtu mulome. Na kawivu. Na kawivu ekelete. Naka naka aishando naka aipenso naka alivu. Never come back here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go down fast. I'm going to go down fast. I'm going to go down fast.
Maisha ya mkimbizi ni magumu. Maisha maa mkimbizi ni malito. Umeweka <laughs> maembe huku ili ikae kama kitu. Maisha ni mgumu. Maisha ni malito. Sasa hiyo ndio Mungu aliambia kaini wewe fugitive. Ukude bunga yeye ya kaini wewe watu kama ololi. Number 2 vagabond. What is the meaning of being a vagabond? Ni nini kusema mtu kwa vagabond? A vagabond. A vagabond. Let me let, let me give you a meaning here. Hata ni wape maana hapa. A vagabond is a person who wanders from place to place without home or job. Ni mtu anayezurula mahali kwenda kwingine kama ana tumaini ama kazi. Hana job? Ana kazi? Ana home. Ana tena msingi. So he wanders everywhere. Kwa hivyo anazunguka kila mahali. Leo anaweza rara kakoni. Omo ndio anale kakoni. The foreign ndio anasikia kwa rokendo. Tuwenu wengi wake wale rokendo. Next demand ya kwa yembu. Tuwenu wengi ya yembu. Next year koronyenges. Wako ni wengi ronyenges. No home, no job. Atena msingi na atena wela. Vagabond. Vagabond. You shall be a vagabond on the earth. And Ken said, Why? This is too much. Whoever finds me will kill me. So, because of the curse you have laid on me, my life is also in jeopardy. Yeah, I can't, I, I may not, I can't live long. Actually, people will seek to kill me. But because God is merciful, lakini kwa sababu mungu nua rehema. He had his case. Akasikia kesi yake. Akasema mwenye atahuza kaini. Augolo katongi vya kaini. Atalipa mara saba. Akalipa maita mwanja. Then akasema. Na uga. Naweka alama juu ya kaini. Nika nguikila alama igulia kaini. That, can you see people don't? Let me tell you. There, is, a, there is an anointing that can preserve you. Kuna upako uneza kukuifadhi. I tell of people life is in the spirit. Nambianga watu maisha iko katika roho. The Lord said. Mungu akasema. I will set a mark on Cain. Nitaweka alama juu ya kaini. Lest anyone fighting him should kill him. Ndio kila atakaye muona asimue. So there was a mark. It doesn't matter how one wants to kill. Aijalishi mtu anatamani kuwa namna gani. There is a mark saying touch not. Kuna alama inasema usiguze. I am praying, may that mark be upon somebody. Ata yu alama yu ajuya mtu. Oh, whether it's COVID or cancer or asthma or Iwe diabetes. Iwe ni COVID, cancer. Or road accidents. Ama anjali barabara. May there be a mark on you. Ata bara na alama juya. The yako. mark of exemption. Alama ya kuepusha. The mark of long life. Alama ya maisho marevu. The mark that will preserve you. Alama itakayo kuepusha. Why did all this happen? Ni kwa nini yote alitendeka? The sin of shedding innocent blood. Ni laana ya kumwaga damu isiyo na hatia. Number 2 I wind up. Ya pili nimalizie. There is the sin of immorality. Ni dhambi ya immorality. Or sexual immorality. Ni dhambi ya immorality. We see Reuben. Tunamuona Reuben goes and sleeps with his father's wife. And you see now that there are even levels of immorality, but now there is the highest Kuna ile haya ile level ya usherati lakini kuna ile iko juu. Wewe ambaye you sleep with your mother. Ile ambapo unalala na mama yako. Hiyo ndio Paul anasema hata wanyama wafanyangi hiyo. Hiyo ndio Paul anasema wananyamu through the gog. Yaani it's extreme. Hiyo imezidi. And step now is there was him because you went and took my wife Bilha. Una unakuwa uja huko thabiti kwa sababu ukachukua bibi yangu Bilha. My concubine. Bibi yangu mdogo. Slept with her. Ukalala naye. And is stable as water you shall be. Na kuwa huko thabiti kama maji utakuwa. And is stable. Kuwa huko thabiti. You see. I believe he was talking of water. Na ma, na mimi alikuwa anaongea juu ya maji. In aqueous form. Yaani yaani you see maji can be vapor can also be uh, solid, si ndio? Inaweza kuwa barafu, si ndio? Inaweza kuwa vapor ili na kama uh, moshi. Na pia kuna hii sasa, sidiyo? Lakini yote ni H2O, sidiyo? Sema ndiyo. Yeah. Ya aleluya. <laughs> yote ni H2O. Two you molecules of okay. hydrogen and one of oxygen. Oxygen kifanyika mbili na kuwa poison. Peroxide. Wow. I love the chemistry. Ambia manzako fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see? Ikiape ni kuwa 
Sasa hiyo tumetoana nayo watu wachana nayo. Ngata tulikuwa hata kuwa mapilot. Tulikuwa tunapenda pure sciences. Anyway, listen to this. Sasa Kizai akamwambia you will be an staple. Utakuwa hauko the beauty. You see magic you have to put to put. No sio karu kina ina kuina ina. Acha nikwambie kama kuna dhambi ufanyanga watu wa stable ni iki iki dhambi ambaye mzako kiogope the area of valley ile kile we thank you my daughter odalia enye no eko dalie yani odalia ali na i anasema kwetu mimi nikitabulet kudalia ni kufungua kwa waga interpret la lugha ya nau hunde mene kugane kufungua so anasema hii dhambi ya kufungua inaweza ikafungua kabisa ikwaribu we are stable like water Ukua uko the beat kama maji. Angalia mtu anapenda kuonja onja onja. So mtu ndio yenda kwa sama sama. Onu ati usagalunga mete, ena msimamo. Kama mshara kikuja. Mosala wauka. Kanaenda kwa girlfriend B. Ikadie kuna kitambo kafike kwa wife hey. Ye kinya kwa muka wa mbele. Kakoshaken together and deducted everything. Kaina ine tuwa pamona ka lutwa kintu kionde. At the step. Kwa au ko the beat. Ambia mwenzako na ni kweli. Aneo ma. Hallelujah. Okay, thank you. This seal. Idambi. Na watu wa kanisani huko. Na kanisani ile kuu. Imoro. Iwe ni masturbation or lesbian sim or gay sim. Iwe ni usharati wa aina gani wa wote wanaume kwa wanaume wanawake kwa wanawake yeyote ile. This sin. Idhambi instabilizes inakuto inafanya kutokuwa the beat and then destabilizes inatoa ku the beat lift up your the say lord sema bwana deliver me from this issue niokoe kutoka na ili deliver me from this issue niokoe kutoka na ili maybe ulikuwa hapa maybe uko hapa na hii roho ilikuwa imekunyemelea nimesimama hapa leo nikwambie bwana mejawa na rehema hii wela have mercy and deliver you let me show you then we pray. Jacob curses a son Reuben. Jacob ana mlani ndugu ya kijana wake Reuben. Now the funny thing, Reuben yeye kujiongea kama kaini. Jacob wate ali hata kaini. Please inua mikono yako kila moja. Wave your hand everybody. Inua mkono kila moja. Kaini yeye aliambia Mungu, "Ai bana, bana, hii ni too much." Kaini aliamwambia, "Wewe bwana uko litoba." Sasa Reuben yeye akanyamaza. Wewe Reuben wega kile. Unstable as water. Okay, gua otilonga meteta lonsi. You will never exhale. Oti kaendele ya. Na muze akalala, akaga dunia. Na na mzuriola na mzuriola mama kana kuwa. Can you see that? Kaini ya lijionge ambere ya mungu. Kaini wenye ya lidi ambere ya mungu. Aka negotiate. Ne ya lidi ya. Lakini Ruben. Ende Ruben. Kept quiet. Alinyamaza. And the father died. Na baba yake akaga. That simply means. Iyo ni kumanisha. Forever. Milele. But we serve a God. Lakini tunamtumikia Mungu wa rehema. Moses comes as a type of Christ. Musa yeye alikuja kama ishara ya Kristo. Ambia mwenzako Musa ndio hiyo sasa Musa. Mwele Musa. Niliposaliwa niliitwa Moses Njero. Kwa hivyo Musa tena nimekuja kama Musa. Moses Njero. Leo ngo sata Musa. Kuna watu wananitanga hata kijijini Musa. Na tuambe tena au tulani Musa. We have many names eh. eh? Moses kuba kuba hata wewe ni Musa. <laughs> <laughs> kubai sema kubai kubai yako hapa listen moses Kiza. comes musa gauka ikafika wakati wa kuexit this earth asali ndio leo ya kuendelea hivi ambino akangada the rub the 12 tribes of eh, israel awasania matakabili ya 10 na maele ma israel ambao ni wana 10 na wawili wa wa wa, wa jacob maele si ana 10 na sisi ya jacobu guess nani ataanzia Tasiano kambeli first born first born wa mbele nani no ruben ruben ambe msako game changer ambe msako moses 
is the type of Christ. Christ came to redeem us from all manner of curses. You can enjoy mercy. So when Christ came, the, actually, now the typology of Christ, that is Moses now, he looked at, actually, it is written there, uh, 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 Begin verse 1. Verse 1. Let me show you why. Now, verse 1 quickly. Now, this is the blessing which, which Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel, the sons of Jacob. He came as a type of Christ. Ambia mwanzako Yesu. Alikuja kutuondolea hizi maraana. Mwambie mwanzako Yesu. Wacha nikaka hapa nitachemuka sana wacha wacha tumalizie. Yesu alikuja. Yesu asire. Alikuja ku end this crisis. Asiye kudhiria madhina mama. Nadia kasema wa Rubeni. Nakaambia akina wa Rubeni. Ah watabarikiwa. Wataishi maisha marefu. Maana hii raana uwe inaleta kifo. Ndio sababu hata kaini. Aliambia Mungu yeyote ataniona taniua. The curse of instability. It does not not only destabilize you. But it also prematurely kills you. Lakini Musa kafika. Akasema. Ruben. Let Ruben live. And the not die. Let Ruben live. And the not die. No as men be few. Watu wake wasiwa wachache. What does that mean? Tuliona ukiwa stepo. Unaweza ka progress. And one of the indexes of, of progress. Na moja yapo ya kuna wili. Or ink of, of prosperity. Ama ya kuwa na unamaji. Ni ile kuongezeka. Ni kuongeleka. Iyo rahana ya kukosa kuwa stepo. Lane ni ya kotogua tiru nga mete. Ilikuwa inafanya. Ni ya otomaga. Wana warupe. Wendele kupungua Wendele kuisha Lakini Musa kasema Hakuna kifo tena Na muta kuwa wachache Hakuna kifo tena Na hakuna uchache Na takuguze mwenzako Mwambia hakuna kifo tena Hakuna uchache I have come to declare In the name of Jesus Every cause of instability against your family today, the curse is broken. Every curse, and by your inner sema, amuta wai chenga, iorana, be broken, iorana, be broken, kirarana. Inayosema mutaishi kuzika watoto Iyo rana Be broken I stand here In the name of Jesus I stand here In the name of Jesus Na ninatangaza Rana zote Zinaisha power Are you not believing this? Biashara sitaendelea Biashara sitainuka Makanisa itangro Nyumba zenu sitaendelea Nimekuja leo Just my sister Wacha ni mazia na kiswadi Thank you my daughter Yeah yeah thank you thank you thank you Nimekuja kutangaza Aijalishu na pitia nini Aijalishu na pitia nini Mungu wana niambia ni kuambia hivi Usio gope Hiyo rane inabunjika Yesu alikupa msalabani Hashugulikia yorana Yesu alimuaga ndamu yake 
Hashugulikia hiyo rahana Yesu alichapa misumali Hamchugulikia hiyo rahana Yesu alimwaga ndamu Haoshe hiyo rahana Na siku ya leo Ninasimama kwa madhabau Ni waombe wa vendwa Wakanisara wa Oda Vestichuka na wageni wote wanaotazama kwa TV wanaotazama kwa Facebook wanaotazama hapa nimekuja niwaambie in the name of Jesus hizo raana zote zinavunjika in the name of Jesus Yesu amejawa rehema Yesu amejawa rehema alipolia msalabani alikuwa nakumbuka kila macho tunapitia alikuwa nakumbuka kaini ambaye alifanya maovu lakini kwa rehema zake alikuja kutuokoa nimesimama hapa leo niwaambie wapendwa mtainuka mtanawili mtakuwa stable mtakuwa stable biashara zenu sitakuwa stable watoto wenu watakuwa stable wake wenu watakuwa stable waume zenu watakuwa stable makanisa itakuwa stable mchungaji wenu atakuwa stable mama mchungaji wenu atakuwa stable kila moja aliye hapa nimekuja niwaombe in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord you will be stable you shall be stable you shall be stable mutanunua mashamba mutajenga kwenu mutakuwa na maplota mutakuwa na mashamba mutakuwa na maplota rana ambayo ilitamkwa leo inavunjika kila moja lilia bwana kila moja lilia bwana lilia bwana ni prayer 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 kila moja lilia bwana ni prayer lilia bwana ni prayer lilia bwana ni prayer lilia bwana ni prayer Oh Jesus alikufa kutupatia stability alikufa kutupatia stability alikuja kutupatia stability Musa hakusema hakusema Ruben atakuwa ni stable Musa ambaye alikuwa mfano wa Kristo ambaye alikuwa mkombozi hakusema Ruben atakuwa pure kama maji lakini alisema Ruben aishi Ruben aishi Ruben Aishi Ruben Aishi Ruben Aishi na watu wake wasiwa wachache hakuna vifo vya mapema in the name of Jesus Kila moja pray plead for mercy the bible says kitabu cha wai pirania 4 mstari wa 6 wa, wa, wa kumi na sita Hebrew chapter 4 wai pirania 4 mstari wa kumi na sita na tuje katika kiti cha enzi kwa ujaziri ili tupate ili tupate rehema tuweze kupata neema ya kutuzaidia we come boldly boldly la parada la pose hey man 
Kalala Bokana. You are not under a curse. You are under a blessing. You are not under a curse. You are under a blessing. You are not under a curse. You are under a blessing. How could you be a Baraka? baraka? Yes, what is your baraka? Not a good way to talk a leo. Come away with Condania Christo. How continue a rana? But you continue a baraka. Na yo baraka. Ni baraka ya kuku stabilize. Ni baraka ya kuku panda. Ni baraka ya kuku imarisha. Ni baraka ya kuku kitisha mizizi. Ni baraka ya kuku panda. Kupanda kwa wema. Kukupanda kwa kwa dui well. Kukupanda kwa kwa prosperity. Kukupanda kwa progress. Spiritual, physical, yes, social, and otherwise. Be stable. Amen. Whoever God has called you to be, you shall be the name of Jesus. The curse of instability, your honor, ya kutokuwa stable, your honor, leo to me vunja, to me sambaratisha, kwa damu ya Yesu Christo, your honor, it is broken. Musa ripo kuja. Maana Musa alikuwa mkombozi. Musa alikuwa mfano wa Kristo ambaye alikuja kukomboa. Hakuuliza, hakukaa kuangalia kile Ruben aliambiwa pale mwanzo. But he went straight to break that day. Maana hange kama angekuja then aseme Ruben bado utakuwa ni stable. Then hangekuwa mkombozi. But Musa ni mfano wa Kristo. 
That's why alienda Misri kutoa wana wa, wa Mungu kutoka kule. Na ilikuwa it's, it's a type of salvation. It's called church in the wilderness. Akawa deliver na akawatoa. So alipofikia kwa family ya Ruben hakuanza vile baba yake yao alifanya. No. He broke that. Cain na yeye akaongea mbele ya Mungu. Akamwambia Mungu, "Hii rahana ni kuu sana, sitaweza kubeba." That means that what Christ did in negotiated our salvation when he took the blood before God. Said Mungu bado utaendelea kuwapiga na hii damu ikiwa hapa and God relented. God akatupandon. Dia akamwambia Karusha ta, akamwambia Kaini. Actually akasema na kuweka alama. Yeyote atakuona akui not kill you. Nataka nibariki na declare kwa mtu hapa. Maybe umekuwa na hata mpaka na vifo. Unaona majeneza. You are buried people in your family often. You are afraid. That cycle we break it now. The cycle is broken. The cycle is broken. Nasema the cycle is broken. In the name of Jesus. By the mercy of Christ. Dio Hebrews 4:16 nasema. Sisi ambao tumeokoka na tuje kwa ujasiri katika kiti cha henzi za Mwenyezi Mungu cha Mwenyezi Mungu ili tuweze kupata rehema mercy na kupitia tukipata rehema then we can enjoy the grace to help us in the time of need you are stable hakuna uvuguvu hapa anybody ambaye ulikuwa mpaka unashangaa yani biashara yako itasimama na haitikilia itakuwa stable biashara za wapendo kwa hii nyumba zitakuwa stable wanao tafuta kazi hapa i declare joblessness is over nasema joblessness is over this is one of our daughters ama ame ame pita amepanda milima na mabonda kitafuta kazi Juzi akaniambia papa nimeitwa interview mahali niombe to god be the glory leo nimerauka kuandika recommendation letter nimepata na ngo serious to god be the glory another another couple yes. they came the month of march after the end of march jamani ito mwalala na mwingine na mke wake from different portion i mean parts of this world this nation I just told them by God's grace the month of May latest all of you mtakuwa na kazi. Guess what? the lady amefanya akona degree in economics and a very amesoma kabisa me, kijana the other way is, is just powerful. Lakini wa me struggle to them this curse of instability is breaking. To God be the both of them both of them within the month of April or may to interview different places and all of them now actually the lady is reporting the first of june the young man reported the other day they are saying they have never seen it in that version ah kasema wow mungu kama unajua muambi haraka hivi endelea hivyo any joblessness here is broken i pray for all of you that you shall be stable kazi zenu zitakuwa stable ndoa ndoa zenu zitakuwa stable wake zenu watakuwa stable waume watakuwa stable watoto watakuwa stable kila kitu kitakuwa stable pigia yesu vigelegele na seven ni constable sangwe na vigelegele